This is tutorial number 30 in Inventor for Beginners. So let's give a quick review to where we are. So in the previous tutorial we started with a quick start with the Inventor interface, mouse manipulation and then go to the sketch and we used quickly some sketch tools and then we move to the 3D models features and we covered the this section till the rib and then we got back to the sketch tools to make more learning to be familiar with them so now let's continue talking about the sketch tool and in this tutorial we're going to talk about the next feature the art so let's start a sketch you know how to start a sketch you choose the plane where you want and then here create sketch or from create to sketch then choose your plane so now let's start looking at the arc feature here and it has three types three points tangent and center points so which one to choose that depends on your sketch type and which one is easier to do the work so for example let's start with the three point so from its name you need three points start point and end point and then you are choosing the radius of your arc for example if we have line like this then put the arc this is your first point last point and you can choose the type of the arc so while you are moving you can notice the tangent constraint is appearing sometimes but this arc is not specialized to make tangent with the line unless you define that constraint for making uh, an arc with a tangent constraint already defined you have the second type of arc is tangent so first now let's delete this arc escape delete and now let's activate the arc with the tangent so here you're going to create a tangent constraint with your starting point of the arc then here is the last point so you can notice here that this arc is tangent with this line so again let's make another line or or we have this arc sub arc the start point and if you're moving your arc you can notice it will be continue being tangent or smooth in connection with the second so you see that smooth and tangent relation here and the third type of arcs is with the center points where you create the center point of your arc for example if we choose this is the first point will be center point and then here you start your arc and then you stop it where you want 